Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. For this video, let's talk about some tips that saves me from avoidable credit card fees. If you just recently had a credit card or you're planning to have a credit card, some of these tips might be helpful for you. Tip number one, waiving of annual fees. So this tip, I've heard this from a friend a few years ago during our trip to Tagaytay and he mentioned that he asked his bank to waive the annual fee niya in exchange for spending a certain amount of money for a certain number of days. So for example, you have to spend 5,000 pesos for the next calendar days. And at that time, yung first time ko narinig yun, I was a bit doubtful kasi uh, hindi, first time ko nga narinig yun, eh hindi pa talaga ako sure. So I googled it and turns out it's legit na pwede mo yung gawin. I think a couple of months ago, that's the first time I've been charged with my annual fee. So I did give this tip a try. I called my bank and nag-ask ako sa kanila to waive my annual fee and they did. But they also did give me a lot of options. And sobrang daming options na binigay nila sa akin so I can't remember all. Pero ito lang yung nag-stick out sa akin kasi ito lang yung parang available sa mga options na binigay nila para sa akin. So yung number one nga, you, you have to spend a certain amount of money for a certain number of calendar days. So kailangan gumasas ka dun sa, sa under sa credit card mo for the next calendar days. Sila magbibigay siya ng specifics nun. And then, um, yung pangalawa naman na natatandaan ko is that you could transfer existing debt if you have other uh, credit cards. Ita transfer mo yun dun sa back ng credit card mo. And number three sa natandaan ko is dapat mag, ano ka, mag enroll ka ng monthly utility bill mo dun sa credit card mo. So, yun yung natandaan ko kasi parang yun yung mga pwede kong gawin. So, if you want to learn yung mga other options mo, just call your bank and give this tip a try kasi this tip really saves me money. Last thing that I want to mention before we move to the next step, it just sucks na hindi to kasama dun sa manual nung na-receive ko yung credit card ko kasi, I mean, if this option is written to that, alam mo parang mas okay sana. And I don't really know if this is a well-spread information kasi para sa akin, if not for my friend na kasama ko dun sa Tagaytay, if he didn't mention it to me, I wouldn't be probably aware of this step. So yun lang, sana before, alam mo parang during pa lang sa pag-deliver nila, ng credit card nila, sana naka-include na to dun sa manual ng options na pwede mong gawin. Tip number two, always pay on time and always pay in full. So I remember I was talking to a friend who works in a BPO company under a collections company. So basically, a collections company, sila yung naniningil dun sa mga clients nila na may existing credit card debt. So a lot of their clients, hindi sila aware na kailangan nilang bayaran yung total amount dun nila. What they're just doing is binabayara lang nila yung minimum amount due which is wrong in a way kasi magkakaroon ka pa rin ng interest doon or magkakautak ka pa rin dun sa credit card mo. So, yun. So, basically, ang gusto ko lang sabihin is always pay yung total amount due mo and always pay it on your due date. So, I think nobody wants to pay more than what they actually bought, di ba? So, pagdating sa credit cards, there are only two ways na mangyayari yan if you're not paying on time and if you're not paying on full. So, always remember na to pay in full and to pay in time and these are two ways talaga na ma-avoid mo yung unnecessary credit card fees. Tip number three, take advantage of your credit card points. Lastly, itong credit card points, if you really want to take advantage of this, there's a really niche na ito on YouTube. Just type credit card rewards hacking. They tend to take advantage of the sign-up bonuses and all the perks ng credit card nila resulting to a free stay in a hotel, in a plane ticket, free plane ticket. Pero for me, yung process na to, it's a bit tedious para sa akin so kahit ako hindi ko siya ginagawa. So for me, ang ginagawa ko na lang is just, I just uh, save up yung mga na-earn kong points and then after I reach a certain threshold, for example 500, ko-convert ko na lang siya into cash tapos i-deda ko na lang siya sa monthly bill ko and yung ganun, yung simple tip na yon it saves me a few hundred of pesos so ba it's not bad so just a quick recap for this short video so tip number one waiving of annual fee so give your bank a call and ask them to waive your annual fee pag charge ka na annual fee tip number two avoid delayed payment so always pay on time and always pay in full then for number three uh, credit card points so pagdating sa credit card points if you are patient enough to take advantage of this, you could get a free stay in a hotel or a free plane ticket. Pero if hindi ka ganon ka, hindi ka ganon kasi pag to, to track yung mga points mo, just follow my tip na i, i, uh, 
ibawas mo na lang yung yung points in the cash, convert it into cash, and ibawas mo na lang siya sa monthly bill mo. That's just it for this video. If you appreciate the content, kindly hit the subscribe and like button. Bye!